This is Randy Wong. I'm a retina specialist in Fairfax, Virginia. This is a 51-year-old male in whom I recently performed a 25-gauge vitrectomy, or FOV. As you can see, he's got a very large opacity centrally, and that circular area is a gigantic Weiss ring. Now, the first thing I noted when I started the operation, and which is why I chose this for the video, is you can see the enormous shadow it casts on the retina. So clearly, this has some bearing into, uh, on the large floater that he's been complaining about. I first saw this patient about a year or year and a half before the actual surgery, and the floater was so large that he could not tell me whether or not this was moving in and out of his vision because I think it was always obscuring his vision. The vitrectomy starts and you can see the shadow of the Weiss ring and the floaters jiggling on the retina. And you can also see some fluid densities as the uh, artificial saline uh, is starting to mix in with the vitreous fluid and we see this from time to time. It's almost if you're you're pouring a concentrated sugar water into a glass of water, you can actually kind of see the sugar water. Now again, because he, he has had a PVD, and that shakiness there is because my assistant is keeping the cornea wet, so that's actually a wave of fluid going over the cornea. But because he's had a PVD, I don't need to go to the posterior part of the retina and get near the retinal surface. I can stay relatively uh, close to the front part of the eye. As you can see with the Weiss ring, the vitreous actually comes to my vitrectomy instrument. So I just, in typical fashion, go in a circular pattern around the peripheral retina, and I'll do this rather slowly and deliberately, trying to limit unnecessary movements. And as you can already see, there's been a substantial clearing of the vitreous. Now what my interest is to remove most of the peripheral vitreous, which is the vitreous over on the side. He's got an otherwise very healthy eye, and there's some more uh, wetting tears or wetting solution being put on the cornea so I can have a crystal clear view while I operate. Now, this is of his left eye, so the vitrectomy instrument starts out in my left hand. And I want to go over to the far periphery to remove as much vitreous on the side as I can without really causing any damage, of course. And in just a minute, I think we're going to transition to my we're going to switch hands with the instruments. And there you can see the vitrectomy instrument is now in the right port because it's in my right hand. And I want to get the area here which was more difficult to access using my left hand. But I've already done the bulk of the work so this is going to be a very limited view. After the end of every case, what I prefer to do is uh, perform what we call retinal depression. So from the outside of the eye, I'm going to actually depress. There you go, up in the upper right. I'm actually pushing on the outside of the eye so I can see every last little bit of uh, retina to make sure that we did not cause any holes or tears. Or if there were holes or tears that we didn't see in the office, we could see them now and then fix them. So I like to do this all the way around the eye. And once we ensure that there's no holes or tears, we're basically done. Hope you enjoyed this. My name's Randy Wong. I'm a retina specialist in Fairfax, Virginia. Take care. Thanks for watching.